Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Science here. I hope everybody's well. I'm doing the bonus round for August. Because just about everybody earned a bonus because the readings were... I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Some of this stuff was like talk show specials, soap operas. I mean, I get some crazy energies out of the universe, I guess. But... I get very few complaints and I help people and ultimately that's what I'm here to do. So, okay, mixing them up. I don't know who's going to be next. I just did Taurus, so who's up? Aries, you're up. Okay. Do, 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 do. Here we go. This reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Resonates with you? Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can be vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends, the cross-watchers, are always welcome here at the first Sign Tarot Table. Everybody's always welcome here, and I appreciate you stopping by. While you're here, if you wouldn't mind, you can hit the like button. If you're not already subscribed, you can hit the subscription button and notification bell. That would be super awesome of you. It all helps the channel and is all greatly appreciated. So, before I invoke the cards and throw them down, this is a bonus round. It's going to be a simple three-card spread. And three cards for the other person you're dealing with. Four if you count the overalls, but... Eight cards on the table between two decks, and then I clarify with the third deck. I got this awesome new deck. I'll show you the box here in a second. Two things we got to go over before any of that happens. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. Don't listen to a deck of cards. If it's going to fuck your universe up if you make the wrong decision. Okay? I just don't recommend it. Two, if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, it's not making sense in your life, it's probably not your message. So leave the cards on the table and walk away. You're more than welcome to take what resonates, but leave what doesn't. Don't force things to fit into your life because all that does is cause drama. And, you know, who, who wants drama in their life? I mean, drama kind of sucks. So... All right, Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for messages you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for whatever messages they need for the rest of August. I thank you for this gift that I've been given, and I appreciate you. Please help me to bring Aries to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. All right, we'll use the Witch's Tarot for the energy of the person you're dealing with. Three quick shuffles. I'm doing this a little different this time around. I did it all kinds of backwards for Taurus. I think maybe that's what kind of threw me off. I don't know. I'm just trying to get these done. Strike them while the iron's hot. Nobody saw anything. You weren't in the frame. My kid. All right. What are we doing? Okay, Aries, overall, Ten of Swords reversed, you're fighting an ending. Delaying an inevitable. Why are you fighting the ending? The sun's going to shine again. I don't think the sun's shining right now. Okay. In the past, we have a Wheel of Fortune reversed. Downward spiral of events could be a karmic connection you're dealing with. Present moment, we have the hair fit reversed. Oh boy. Okay. This could be a divorce or on the brink of divorce for some of you. It's coming up. Three of Wands reversed. No longer waiting for something. How about the person you're dealing with? Six of Cups. Happy Blissful Memories. 
Again, soulmate connection. Probably somebody you've been kicking it with for a while. Somebody you've known for a while. If it's a divorce situation, it could be someone you have a family with. There are two children depicted in the card. In the past, it's we got the Eight of Swords, the cage of their own thoughts. They could have walked out of that cage any time they wanted. Their feet were not bound. But they can't see where they're going. They're blindfolded. Their arms are bound. Their feet aren't. It's perception. It's all about perception. Current moment. Five of Wands, conflict! Okay. Future, chariot reversed, things coming to a dead stop. Someone being pulled in two different directions. Could be a return, I don't know. I'm not feeling return. I'm feeling dead stop to the chariot. That, that's what I'm feeling right now. All right, okay. Let's get, oh, Heaven and Earth Tarot. I picked this up at Books A Million yesterday. Um, I actually had to replace my Gilded Tarot because it got wet and the cards stuck together. And I went to go do a personal reading yesterday morning and oh my God, um, it was horrible. <laughs> I, I, I cried. I cried a little bit as the cards are coming apart in my hand. I'm like, no, this is like the fourth or fifth Gilded Tarot I've ever had to buy. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, that was the story with that. I'm not buying another one. Madness actually made the comment yesterday that I don't think you're meant to have that deck. You keep destroying it for whatever reason. You need to stop buying them. I'm like, you might be right. So we're just going to see. We're going to baby the crap out of this one. <laughs> Try to make it last a little bit. Okay. All right. All righty. Beautiful imagery on these cards. Seriously. I'm just going to show you. It's pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That's not bad, right? Mm -hmm. You start in abundance, possibly, for some of you. You start toward that ten of pentacles. And ten of pentacles is the ultimate goal, right? Okay. One more. One more. We're going to let him fly for Aries. Let him fly for Aries. Okay. I didn't ask a question yet. Holy cow. The full reversed came out. I'm putting it back. I didn't ask a question yet. If it comes back out, it comes back out. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed here? Hmm. Nine of Wands. Okay. Nine of Wands is a little bit impulsive. I call him the party pony. I mean, he, he's the playboy of the tarot. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. If it does, and it's your story, you know it, none of my business. Resonates with you, resonates with you. It's a card of action. Uh, um, maybe you had a knight of wands come into your life. I don't know. You are the Knight of Wands. You're dealing with the Knight of Wands. I don't know. It's a card of action. It's a card of forward movement. Ace of Wands. Something you're passionate about. Passions. Actions. New starts. New start in something passionate? Are you fighting the end of something else? Okay. Delaying a painful ending. One more and then we're not beating that dead horse anymore. Here's the thing. For the reverse tens, you've got to end something to start something new.
Hey men, reversed. You're hung up. Something you're hung up on. The hanged man can't gain new perspective if he's in the reverse. There's something he's hung up on. He's still very much up in the gallows. You're still very much up in the gallows about something. It's probably this painful ending that you're delaying. Because you're only delaying your new start. Why is the hair fit here? What's the overall? Why is the hair fit here? For the here and now. Hair fit reversed. Why the hair fit reversed? For the here and the now for Aries. Thank you. Five pentacles. You're out in the cold. Oh, shit. Okay, one more. The devil came out. A little bit more of that sexual energy coming out, possibly for some of it. I don't know. It's vibing with the party pony. That's all I know. You're bound. You're bound on a deep soul level to someone or something. It's toxic energy. There's something toxic going on right now. Toxicity, it's obsession. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. One more on that. The Hierophant Reverse, it's a card of divorce. It's a card of separation of a blessed union. reverse came back out. And the four of cups came out reversed. So not seeing the cup that's being handed to you, completely ignoring it. Or you feel like you're being ignored. Take it either way. There's lack of trust. The full reversed indicates a lack of trust. Either you're out in the cold with somebody or you had to put somebody out in the cold. There's toxicity in the relationship. There's toxic energy. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're going to go down to the person that you're dealing with for overall. Why is six cups here? Why is six cups here? Aries, apparently there's still trouble in paradise. I think, was that the last one I did? I feel like I did an Aries reading and I titled it Trouble in Paradise. Four of Wands reversed. Minor kind of tower. This is hard. I, I'm kind of feeling like I, I understand why the you're, someone's delaying a painful ending because this is somebody you've kicked it with for a long time. Six of Wands. Somebody wants attention. Somebody feels like they're not getting enough attention. Six of Cups again. Six of Cups again. It's nostalgia. I'm getting a sense of in the current moment, it feels like the good old days, but that tower is still shaky. Like the, the foundation still isn't steady. I want to beat a dead horse, but one more. You, Ace of Cups, 
somebody wants to start over. Somebody might want to make it new, but look at this five of wands over here. Why is the five of wands here? Because there's arguing and fighting. The foundation is not steady. So, and I don't know why this just popped into my head, but it splits the story a little. Forgive me. That Ace of Cups might mean they want to go off and start something new with someone else. I hate to say that. There's the Five of Wands here. Why is the Five of Wands here? The Emperor. Aries. One more. Five of Wands. No lie. Five of Wands, Five of Wands, Emperor. That's not an explanation. Very take charge. Someone could be being controlling. Aries, I'm not saying it's you. The Emperor can can be slightly controlling. One more. Strife. Arguing. Fighting. Four of Pentacles. Someone might be being miserly with money. Someone might be unable to let something go and it's causing strife and arguing. I'm feeling a little bit of both. I mean, take whatever resonates. I'm feeling a little bit of both. Oh, it's getting cold in here. Oh my God, why is it so cold in here? I think the AC is up a little bit too high. All right, what's this Wheel of Fortune reversed about for the past for Aries? What's the Wheel of Fortune reversed about? Of cups. Great deal of love here. Holy Moses. Judgment reversed. Oh, yeah. There may have been a past separation. And you came back together, reversed a judgment call because of that deep love for each other. One more. Six of Pentacles. Tried to even things out. This is Eight of Swords about for the other person for the past. Why the Eight of Swords? Nine of Cups. I love how this deck calls it material happiness. 
You're happy, but are you really? Three of Wands. Waiting for the tenth cup. Not quite there. Not quite there. You're happy, but are you really? Still not. Why the three ones? I hate being nosy sometimes, but sometimes you gotta be nosy to get to the root of a problem. And why else do you come to the crazy tarot lady? Magician. All the tools before you to fix whatever needs to be fixed but waiting tried to fix it I'm hearing tried to fix it Waiting, waiting, waiting for what? Waiting for it to be fixed? Waiting for it to max magically fix itself? Alright. We're going to go into the future. Cause this is sketch as fuck right now. There's strife. Someone's feeling ignored. There's toxic energy. On the brink of separation. Somebody's hung up. Delaying a painful ending so something new can begin. I think maybe you both are. You both have an ace. Why is the Three of Wands reversed here for Aries for the future? Why the Three of Wands reversed? No longer waiting for what? Ten of Swords reversed. Right back where we freaking started, aren't we? Okay. One more, please. Four swords reversed, restless energy. So, I still don't understand what you're no longer going to be waiting for. I'm just saying. Empress. No longer waiting for growth. Emperor, Empress. Put yourself where you see fit. Why is chair reversed here for Aries for the future? I don't want to be the doom and gloom raider, guys. Come on. I mean, I'm, I know I'm not a sugar coater, but I don't want to be bad news Betty either. Good God. The world. Things coming to a dead stop. The world. Old cycles ending. New cycles beginning.
Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Okay, Aries, we're done. Okay. Buckle up. Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is here. Seven of Cups. King of Cups reversed. Dragon. Do not emotionally close yourself off. You have to allow yourself to feel whatever you need to feel, but don't be given or taking any offers at this point either because you need to heal. You have options before you, but you need to make sure you look at those options. Okay. Don't ignore the options. But you need to allow yourself time to heal first. Don't rise up like the wounded warrior and just go right back in again. Okay? The wounded warrior needs to rest. And I, I don't see you being very restful in the future. You need to rest. So you can start the new cycle that you need to start for yourself with clarity. Some of you may need to battle some inner demons before you're able to make an informed decision and leave the crossroads. Okay? So you need to settle down inside yourself before you make any moves. It might just be okay to be single for a minute. If this does end in the unfortunate way that I, I, I feel like it's going to end for somebody, you, not, you need to allow yourself that time to become emotionally independent. Okay? Oof. Oof. Okay. Where'd it go? I know it's around here somewhere. It's not a very big work area. Where did it go? There it is. Losing cards. Okay. Pull off a couple more for Aries, and I think I might go to bed because that kind of kicked my ass, not gonna lie. You feel like you want to come out? Knight of Cups. I know that the right person waits until I am ready. If you're not ready, you're not ready. Don't do anything before you're ready. Ace of Pentacles, wow, it came back out. Just a different deck. I'm always rewarded for all I do. The universe rewards you even when other people don't. So if you feel like that none of the hard work you ever put in mattered, it mattered. It mattered. Somebody was watching. Oh my gosh, it's spinning. Six of Wands, I am proud of what I achieve and accept my rewards. Okay, Aries. I'm open to opportunities for personal growth. Ten of Wands, I love and care for myself first. Ultimately, you gotta do what's best for you, okay? All right, I love you guys. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. I appreciate you. And I will catch you sometime, hopefully, before the 31st of August for your September reading. I try my best. Either way, I will catch you next time because there's always a next time.